Good afternoon, I'm Charlie Swanson. I'd like to show you some of the outstanding features of this 240 Sunliner by Harris. Let's climb on aboard. One of the first things that you notice when you, when you climb up aboard on this pontoon is all the room. Some manufacturers have bars and L-shaped lounges that, that, that come into your walkway area and you actually have to twist to go back through here. The main function of a pontoon is to have a lot of people on board and to have fun. Look at all the seating. You can easily sit four adults on each side, four adults on this side, two or three in the back. The capacity of this boat, I believe, is 14. So 14 people on board, all comfortable. Besides the seating, look at all the storage. Easy access to the storage. There you have your playpen cover, all tucked away. Out of your way. Some manufacturers still don't hinge their storage. So you have to pick up the cushion set it somewhere, go back and get your things, people have to move, you hit a wave, the cushion flies out of the lake, it's just an endless problem. The height of the bimini is 9.6. Unless you're out entertaining the Los Angeles Lakers, you probably aren't going to have a problem with head clearance. There again, lots of room. This is, a, this is also an area right here that's very accessible and easy to use. Good for throwing bumpers, lines. Underneath this backrest is actually a waste basket. It's always an issue on boats where to put your waste. This is easy. People don't even have to move to access it. Forward of the helm, you have a built-in cooler. Throw some ice in there, easy access to get at your beverages. You also have more storage in the, in the helm compartment. Great spot for a slide-in cooler. Boating is supposed to be fun, and having easy, accessible storage makes it more fun. Notice how the armrest slipped up on the helm. You can slide in, turn around, you're out for a long cruise, you put the armrest down, and you're in comfort. Nice windscreen on the dash, full instrumentation, depth finder, hour meter, trim gauge. One of the things that I've noticed on a lot of pontoons back seat, between the back seat and the outboard, they have room to, to hang around. This particular pontoon has it more up front. Where would you rather have your kids sitting? At back by the outboard or up front in a nice usable area like this? Dangle your feet in the water, throw in a, throw in a line, doesn't get much better than that. Another thing is, this, is the pop-up cleats. When you're not using them, they're flush. Won't step your toes on them. Safety feature. More accessible storage right back here. You got a, you got a lifting tether. Another great spot for a cooler. Anchors. Life jackets. Once again, easily accessible. You also have a changing room. Easy to get at. You're out boating all day long. You want to visit your favorite restaurant. You want to change clothes. Flip this up. Short and sweet. Easy to put away. Out of the way, never to be seen. You know, I don't go boating often, but when I do, it's in a 240 Sunliner by Harris.